Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the Monday game between Australia and Ireland and it's going to be an important game for Australia to continue to up their net run rate so that they stay in the reckoning for the semi-finals and I have Nikhil Bhai with us today to carry you through the specific preview. Yes, uh, so far so good. As I keep saying, thank- thankfully first for having me and uh, games done ke ja rahe hain. I, hmm. I'll bit just that Pakistan game where uh, Pakistan wanted to do something different, which is fine. Uh, you expect Pakistan to be Pakistan, but Baki sab ke liye, forms ke saath jana, hmm. save ja So let's continue that and uh, back normal form over anything else that is happening. Right, absolutely. And we want to declare the jersey yeah. giveaway winner for the last game which we were unable to do so so we'll do that right now for the new zealand versus sri lanka game the winner is fun vidz so i'm not sure who the person is but you can dm me on twitter if you are the relevant person and because this one is that does not have a name please show uh, please try and click on the three bar section and show that you can edit or delete that comment because if you can't do that i'll un- be unable to verify that it's actually you. So please take a screen recording of you editing the comment. And if it's yeah. actually you, then yes, you get that reward too. And now right. let's look at what venue conditions we have for this game. Yep. He's gone to the. So yeah, no, Nikhil Bhai is saying something. I was saying, Virin has gone to the venue to get the record? Uh, not really the record, but I was getting the weather information and luckily that is clear and good at Brisbane Great. for Monday. There might be some weather around on Tuesday, but uh, at least for Monday, we are clear in that scenario. And as far as the pitch is concerned, from whatever we saw in the Bangladesh game, there was bounce, but there was also a statement made by Muzrabani that there might be some hold in the track and hence Raza took his overs on, but I have someone with me who might not agree to that as much. It makes no sense for anybody in the world to tell me that Blessing Muzarabani should not have bowed and Sikandar Raza should have bowed. It makes no sense whatsoever. But again, that is 2022. Harris Shroff did not bowl the 20th over. Blessing Muzarabani only bowled two overs. So, teams just tell you at, at mm. different intervals mm. that uh, no matter how much we can try and predict how they'll play, they'll mm. end up uh, having fun. Zimbabwe lost because of their catching and bowling changes. Pakistan may not do much because they have a better batting lineup. Right, so it should be a good game and uh, yeah. we will look at the leaderboards before we get to the specific yeah. game based team. So, like you can see, the investment leaderboard and the tournament leaderboard both are specifically live. And uh, for the investment leaderboard, you just need to keep joining more contests like you already are. And we'll post an updated ranking mostly post tomorrow's games. And apart from that, the tournament leaderboard where you just need to make multiple combinations and your best combination for that specific game will be counted towards the leaderboard. Also, just a thing to add to that, if you see most of the games, uh, base teams, they've been very obvious, but they mm. are the ones which are clicking. So, mm. it's not that uh, sometimes we, in fantasy, we try and tend to be taking that extra risk. So, you don't to risk So, risk low, but your core is not to change the core. And now, in all the games, we've, touched, we've had a decent amount of run where most of the picks even the Grand League picks have come off. Like hmm. Mosada Gusen, which was like the first Grand League pick and Viren took his name first and he eventually got you the investment back or even more with those wickets in the last over. So, hmm. that is the kind of thing. Back your visualization and because you have so many leaderboards to win, make multiple combinations, rotate one or two players and then you could really have a very good price not just in that leaderboard but hmm. the other leaderboards as well. So, please make the most of it. Right, it will be a trickle effect for you because you will get yeah. benefits across. So, let's see what best pace team we can make for this specific game. So, this is our base team for the Ireland versus Australia game. And in the keeping section, we have gone with Lock and Tucker. And obviously, Wade is batting very low. And we want the extra Australian slot. 
and then we have gone with the two australian batters in david warner and mitchell marsh who also started bowling in the last game but it was just one not over nikhil bhai any other thoughts on any other batters that you want to pick because people would want one of sterling or balbony based on form so how do you approach that yes you could easily pick any one of them if you feel mm. that any one of them will come good uh with Paul, I think it's more of a risk as opposed to Andy. And Andy usually has a run where if he gets onto a good run, he keeps scoring runs. But again, the opponents are going to be very tough for them to handle. So uh, the bowling will be strong enough there, and then that makes it just that much mm. more tricky to back in any of the openers. So maybe you might want to back middle over batters. Harry Tucker mm. is a great one, uh, especially if Ireland bat first. currently this team is made assuming australia are batting first which is why you don't see any batter there from ireland so we'll be expecting mm. lots of wickets to fall later up so yeah those three options i think are the best to try out for right and then when you look at the all rounders we have gone with marcus toynes as captain and gary delaney now marcus toynes as captain because he does have those change ups and he it's not like he's bowling less he's still bowling two to yeah. three overs and we saw his batting form was in beast mode last game and garrett delaney can be an interesting matchup against the line of right handed aussies in the middle orders or in the middle order all of whom like to attack mitchell marsh maxwell stoinis so while he might be in for a pat he and not because pat come in this and for a pat but because he's going to come up against all those hitters so he might also be in the chance to get a wicket while we have not taken curtis camper because he's not just getting a chance at all with the ball maybe because they have so many options and if the task is going to be cut out for him bowling batting against someone like zampa in the middle order exactly i think that is the one issue that you will always have with ireland it is their mm-hmm. usage of resources it's the same thing with netherlands and other nations as well when sometimes when you have too many options you tend to not possibly make the best use of all of them and then hence, mm. hence it becomes very risky to back somebody who they are not using they might as well use it on that very day and you don't have him and then you'll be like okay how could i predict this so isi ke liye hum kehte hain multiple combinations banao uh is team mein abhi ke liye humne gerard delaney ko rakha hai kyunki lagta hai hame ki delaney could be that डिफरेंशियल काइंड ऑफ बोलर और उनको कभी कभी लास्ट के चार पांच में भी एक और देते थे सो दैट कुड बी वेरी लॉटरी के भाई वो आके एक और में दो विकेट लेके जाएं तो उनका तो काम हो जाएगा सो दैट इज द लॉजिक देयर एंड ही इज अ डिसेंट बैट अब तक उन्होंने वो उनको वैसा स्पॉट मिला नहीं है तो बट ही कुड रियली मेक अ डिफरेंस है बट एज ही सेड अगर आपको लगता है कि नहीं पेसर्स ही ज्यादा बॉलिंग करेंगे तो आप यू कुड इजीली टेक कटिस कैंफर Docker hmm. could still be an option, but he's not bowling a lot, so that is also a very tricky call to make. Right, and then in the bowling, we have gone with the guys who are expected yeah. to bowl full quota. Pat Cummins, we are not sure if he'll play the match as there's some news that Richardson might slot in, so that is something we'll have to see last moment. But apart from that, we have taken the whole Aussie bowling set, and we have taken Josh Little and Mark Adair because. Josh Little will trouble Warner in that first over if he gets any kind of movement or bounce like we've seen with Warner and left arm pacers. And apart yeah. from that, Mark Adair also can get some in swing, which will be troublesome for Finch because even though Finch got points, he didn't look comfortable at all in the last game against Lahiru Kumara. Yeah, just talking about Warner there, I think he's out four times in twelve games against left arm pace. Mm. The average is hardly like fifteen, sixteen, and The strike rate is not too much; it's around 120. So there's a definite uh, area of concern that they can exploit. But again, Warner could easily not face any ball from just a little. Mm-hmm. And uh, a little wicket lay be there, so maybe it could be that by the Finch or Mas, both of them are there, and Warner is standing there standing. So anything is possible in this very year. But mm-hmm. uh, I think the one way to also look at this is if you feel that in the chase, Warner will be less tested. Uh, as opposed to batting first, then you can easily make one or your captain or vice captain as well because we know in chases he's somebody who really anchors and accelerates well. So hmm. he could be a very handy handy option in that sense. Or baki to in sabhi mein se there is no one that you will think a wickets mein nahi hoga and it is hmm. gaba. So bounce hoga extra. So all of them will be there. Yes, absolutely, and hence we have decided to back the bowlers more because we are yeah. expecting all of them to come good. 
and uh, apart from that now let's hear it on the grand league options so nikhil bhai who's <laughs> your golden grand league option for the game oh uh, i think the first grand league option will again come from the base team but hmm. somebody who many may not make as their captain vice captain is michel stark hmm. uh, Again, it's a very tricky call. It's a grand league option because he's not bowling with a new ball, which mm-hmm. is very strange. Uh, again, I I understand they want to get Cummins into the game early, but then it's not the best way to use Mitchell Stark. Is what I feel. So hopefully they can use Stark well and Stark at the Gava just feels about right. So mm-hmm. that is my pick from the Australian bit. From the Ireland bit, we have already discussed his name once, and uh, I'll continue to back Harry Tactor to come through. Okay, that's the one uh, Grand League pick. Nice. Gone. <laughs> good, good, good <laughs> but uh, my Grand League picks for this game: if Australia bat first, is Tim David, and for Ireland, if they bat first, is uh, Joel Docker. So two similar kind of roles, yeah, but uh, I feel can be useful here because if there's movement up front and early wickets, that kind of role might come to play. So yeah, one of the two based on over bats first. Yeah, I think both are very fair calls, and uh, just do take a look around the weather. अभी तक तो कुछ है नहीं ऐसा कि problem होगा, but in case होता है, then it is best to bag the key guys only. And uh, yeah, Australia will come hard because they'll want to start winning maybe big also if possible, but because hmm. of that washout. So it could be a very interesting game to try for Grand League. Right, absolutely. So make multiple teams, and we hope that all of you have a good game and ensure that you take part in the League of Boot contest. All the good luck to all of you. Yes, guys, keep winning. Happy winnings. <laughs>